Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from Robojax. My name is Ahmed Shamshiri, presenting this tutorial from Canada. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can use this Lego Smart Car version 3 to move forward, move back, turn left, turn right. You can get the code for this by clicking at the link below the video in the description, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. I've received this from Lego. They sent it for free for review and uh, unboxing. I've done the unboxing. I have also another video explaining how to assemble this. In this video, we're going to learn how we can control it so it can go forward, backward. Also, we're, we're going to learn how to make it turn left or turn right. And then this has a lot of other features and in the upcoming videos I will make the first step would be to so this it can see an obstacle, a wall or something and immediately stops. So that would, that would be one video and the upcoming videos I will make this uh, so the servo will rotate and it will scan the area to see where is the obstacle. For example if it sees an obstacle here, if, if it finds somewhere else it rotates and checks. If it finds a clear path, it can proceed in that path and go forward. So this can be controlled via Bluetooth from your mobile phone. You can control it. But let me explain now how this turns left and right. Uh, we have left side is connected to enable A of the module. This is the motor control module L298N. I've written library for this so you can control two DC motors or one a four wire stepper motor but this is L298N which can be used to control DC motor and a stepper if you want to control two DC motors one will be connected here and here and the other will be in here but in this case for each wire they have connected motors so the load can be distributed over this and um, so it has two portions enable A, A and B so A is connected on to the left and B is connected to the right these two that they're rotating together you cannot control one and control the other one both of them will be rotating together and these two will be rotating together but the only thing that you can do is both of them will be rotating either clockwise uh, counterclockwise or forward or backward and this, the same way here and pay attention here uh, that we when we put the motor like this the wheel is on this side and on this side you have to rotate this and put it here that's why you will see in the code that when we send the signal for forward to the left side one way and on the right side you will send the opposite of whatever we send here we will send it here so this can go forward and the same way for the backward as well rotate to the left we will rotate this backward so the car on this side it will go backward and this will go forward this is very controllable and it can rotate almost on around its axis to turn left or right and so when you let's say you want to turn left so this rotates like this and proceeds forward here I've opened the left wheel rotation sketch which is coming with the CD I will also provide you the code here we have enable A in 1 and in 2. Enable A is a pin on the module, on the motor control module, and in 1 and in 2 are also uh, pins. But uh, on Arduino we are defining a pin for this purpose, so pin 5, pin 7, and 8. We cannot change them. Enable A and enable B are here the pins for this L298N module which controls motors. And the pins that we have here, those are the... Uh, the pens are here and because we have a shield on top of it so Arduino Uno is Arduino Uno compatible board is underneath so we cannot change these values they, they must be defined like this because we are using a shield if this was not a shield then you could just change it and then using pen mode inside the setup we are defining in one this is as if I type here seven as an output and in two as an output enable a as an output three pin as an output and also we enable the 
enable A as high, which means this is enabled. But this will not start rotating until we send the right signal to N1 and N2. So enable is just making it ready to be receiving signal and start rotating. And inside the loop, now these two are to control on the left side. To the left side, we have to send signal to N1 and the opposite of it to N2 in order to control it in one direction. For example, if we send high to N1 and low to N2, it will rotate at forward direction. And then this is keeping it for 500 milliseconds or half a second to go forward or rotate that direction. And then we apply it to N1 and N2, we apply low and low. If you apply low and low uh, in N1 and N2, this will apply break on the left side. But if you apply also high, it will break. As long as you apply the same uh, value, it will stop for 500 milliseconds. After that, we apply low and high. Remember, this was high and low. It was rotating forward. Now, low and high, you apply low and high, low to N1 and high to N2, it will go backward. And this time, again, 500 milliseconds, continue like that. And then uh, high and high will apply break. I've uploaded the code. Let me turn this on so you can see it. Enable B. B means on the right side. In 3 and in 4 are two pens that are complementary of each other. One should be high, the other one should be high, the other should be low to in order for this to rotate in one direction. And we are using inside the setup N3 and N4 as an output and enable pen, enable B as an output. And we enable the enable B. And now here N3 is low. When we say N3 is low, N4 is high, this will rotate forward. And when, when both of them are low, N3 and N4, the, the, this will apply break and then high and low remember this was low and high n3 was low now n3 is high and the other one is opposite of n3 so this was will cause the wheel to rotate backward and then uh, this time the break was applied using low low and now it's high high let me power it up And as you can see, it rotates forward and backward. Now this is the code, it's called forward back. And now because you know how to control left and how to control right, now we are combining them together so the whole car will move. But before the example that I gave you, if you rotate only one side and not the other side, it will have a lot of pressure on these wheels if this rotates and this will not move so it will be it just will be waste of energy so both of these must work together for the car to move defining pens and n1 and 2 which is for the left side and 3 and 4 which is for the right side with these are the pens and we are assigning those pens all of the six pens as an output and initially, immediately, we are enabling enable A as high and enable B as high. And inside the loop now, these four are to go forward. Remember, these two were controlling uh, not the left side, N1 and 2, N1, N2, high and low. When this is high, this goes forward. These two wheel, and the, rest, the, the other one is, so for N3, just remember the first one, so if this is high, this must be low, low, and the other is the other one is high, so this will go forward. And then we apply for this for the left side, we are applying low, and we are applying low for the right side, and this causes the car to stop. And now to going backward, now we apply low on this side of the first the in one and high. I'm making, the, making it as a pair, so low and high, and then high and low on this side, so this will go backward. And here for the break, 
low low and high high so you learn it it doesn't make any difference if you put high high here or low low as long as you put two same values in one pair it will break now let me power this up I've put this sticker so you can see the wheels This is a sketch auto go. This is exactly the same as before. And now here we have defined this forward function to go forward. And inside the forward, we are enab enab enabling uh, channel A and channel B. Enable A, enable B, high. So left and right is enabled. And then this is because it's forward. So we have high and low, high and low on this side and low and high on this side as you can see here low high so this causes the car to go forward for backward it is the opposite before it was this was high high low and now it is low high for the n1 and 2 and then for 3 is high low which is controlling the, this side and that is causing this to go backward and also this is now printing the text on the serial monitor which I'm going to show you next and then to control the left you see here enable is enabled enable A and B is enabled both of them are high so this and this left side and right side and now you see here low high because we are turning left this must go backward so this must go backward and this must go forward so the car will so the car can uh, rotate to the left so for that reason we have low high low high causes this to go backward instead of high low again we have low high so this is going backward and this is going forward and as a result this will rotate to the left and then for the right we are enabling the enable a and b both of left and right side is enabled but for the pen to control the direction we have high low this is going forward and then and then this is also high low which is going backward so this is going backward and forward so this will rotate to the right and inside the setup we are initializing defining pens for as an output like before and here 9600 bot is a value that you must match this is the serial monitor and here you can open it by clicking at tools serial monitor or pressing Control shift m or click on this icon now the code is loaded you will see it says forward the battery is not on back left right forward and this value 9600 baud must match otherwise if you have different values you will not be able to see the text you will see question marks something like that so 9600 baud is this value here 9600 I will keep the cable connected so you can see those and also I will turn this you see they are the opposite sometimes now together together backward now left now right I have uploaded the code by connecting the USB here and this is off right now the batteries are fully charged and using this switch I've turned it off so the robot is not working if I want to turn it on I just press this and I'm holding it so it will start rotating car is ready I will just turn this on from here
I'm going to test this car now. Okay, so it will go forward, backward, uh, left and also right. Let's see how my cat reacts to this. What's going on? Thank you for watching. This was how to control this Elego Smart Robot Car by controlling only forward, backward, left and right. Uh, if you learned something and found it useful, please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube. Make sure to subscribe as I will have uh, a lot of other videos related to this. And if you have comment or question, post it at the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. If you want to get updates of my upcoming videos, make sure to subscribe.